Why is all this necessary? Why should women dress modestly? Isn't it the role of men to control themselves around women? Hello there, peace be on you. My name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to Rational Religion. It's a common criticism of religion that it oppresses women and strengthens existing power structures. Islam is often the main subject of these critiques, and since we here at Rational Religion are Muslims, I thought I'd clear a few things up. Let's take a look at the hijab, such a controversial topic nowadays. Let's shine a light on this bugbear of the Western world. So what is the hijab? The word is commonly used to represent the cloth a Muslim woman covers her hair with. The word hijab, however, is not the term used in the Quran. The word used in chapter 24 is in fact khimar, where it instructs women to draw their head coverings across their chests. The word khimar comes from the root word kha, mim, ra, which conveys the meaning of a covering. Other words that derive from this root word draws from this basic meaning. For example, while khimar means head covering, khamar means alcohol because it's known to obscure or veil one's mental faculties. It's all about covering the head, literally or metaphorically. Some people believe that the Quran makes no mention of the head covering, but they should consider this point. In pre-Islamic Arabia, the khimar would be wrapped around the head and its long piece left to drape down the back. The Quran here instructs women to wrap this head covering in the same way, but to drape that long piece to cover their neck and chest. How women fulfill that instruction is how you get the different clothing styles across the Muslim world. If you take that long piece to the front, you get the burqa, since it covers the face before it reaches the chest. For women who drape the cloth with the upper edge leaving only the eyes, you get the niqab, and many Muslim women fulfill the instruction as the Prophet himself, peace be upon him, directed at the basic level, when he said that a woman's face and hands need not be covered. The question is, why is all this necessary? Why should women dress modestly? Isn't it the role of men to control themselves around women? The answer actually is yes. Modesty has been highlighted for both men and women in the Quran, and the Quran actually addresses men first, telling them to lower their gaze around women and to check their sexual impulses. So if that's what the Quran teaches, why do women need to dress modestly? Islam gives a variety of reasons, the most controversial of which is as a means to reduce unwanted sexual advances. Though it would be wonderful to live in a utopia where no one drives badly and no one steals, we recognise that's not the world we live in, and so we wear seatbelts and take out insurance. Islam is practical in its advice to women, and so gives guidance for the real world, and not an imaginary one. The hijab is a bit like a seatbelt. Will it prevent you from always being harmed by the reckless actions of others? No, but it can decrease that risk. In the same way, Islam teaches that women should take their safety into their own hands, rather than relying on the goodness of men. A well-known study conducted by Princeton psychologist Susan Fisk found that men seeing women dressed in bikinis activated the part of their brain associated with tools, or quote, things you manipulate with your hands, as compared to seeing images of fully dressed women. As famous actress Jessica Ray puts it, modesty isn't about covering up our bodies because they're bad. Modesty isn't about hiding ourselves. It's about revealing our dignity. Now let's be clear, modestly dressed women get harassed too. The primary way to eliminate sexual harassment of women is to reform men's behaviour. An interesting account from the Prophet Muhammad's life, peace be upon him, illustrates this point. A beautiful woman approached the Prophet for some advice on some personal matters. A companion of the Prophet began to stare at her because of her beauty. On noticing this, the Prophet reached his hand backwards and turned the face of his companion away so that he would no longer stare at her. He didn't criticise her appearance or advise her to behave any differently. It was in fact the behaviour of his companion that he tried to change. The failure to inculcate modesty in society goes further than issues of sexual harassment. A recent study showed that eating disorders, anxiety and other mental health disorders are rife among women and particularly among young girls. Teenage suicide rates hit a 40-year high in 2015 and is the second leading cause of death in the developed world between the ages of 15 and 24. More than 17% of high school students in the US seriously considered killing themselves in 2017. Many have linked these trends to a culture in which women and young girls are bombarded with images pushing them to aspire to unrealistic and unnatural body shapes. Islam says no to this destructive agenda. It supports women's liberation because it de-emphasizes physical beauty and thereby re-emphasizes personal qualities. Otherwise, it's very easy to be judged and valued according to your looks, which just becomes a genetic lottery. By helping to lessen the emphasis on physical beauty, modest dress says to society that women should be judged according to what's actually important, their personality, intellect, talents, and making a difference in the world. 
Islam teaches us to focus on developing a relationship with the divine, with our creator, not wallowing in temporary and pointless endeavours that are ultimately psychologically and socially damaging. There is so much more to a woman's choice to dressing modestly than just trying to avoid unwanted sexual advances. It brings a much deeper meaning to your relationship with the divine and commitment to something much greater than yourself and the temporary material world. My dedication is to God and not to the whims of culture and the fashion industry. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Peace be on you.